What's up and welcome to this video. So I had a DM off one of you on Instagram asking me if I could do like a full day of eating, what my diet looked like on average, and what do I drink, what supplements do I take, and of course I've been in, in, in videos in the past kind of explained that on a basic level, but I really wanted to show you actually what I eat, what I drink, what supplements I put in place, um, so that you can take ideas and inspiration from that. And if there's anything you want to try for yourself, feel free. So it's going to be uh, it's going to be really good. So I don't label myself as vegan, vegetarian, or meat eater. For my entire travel diet, I always used to eat meat, and then I transitioned into vegan from 2017 to 20, 2019, then vegetarian a little bit. So I've kind of experimented. I've done my I've done my fair share of experimenting with diet supplements. Um, you know, different drinks and processed food and all that kind of stuff. I've done my research, so I know what works for me. I can't say what works for other people, but I can definitely know what works for me, which is why I put certain things in place to feel better, to have more energy throughout the day. And um, that's why you see me doing different practices like meditation, red light therapy, all these kind of things that people kind of look past when I put it in videos in the past but really there's a specific explanation of why I actually do that. So I don't tend to label myself as vegan, vegetarian, you know, meat eater, etc., etc. I just kind of do my own thing. So I just say I eat quality food because it's true. Probably 90 to 95% of my diet is just plant-based food, um, which I'll show you today as we go throughout the day. The only, the only food that I eat outside of that is eggs. And then if I go out to a restaurant to celebrate something like a friend's birthday, etc., then that's where I'll have like meat on occasion. But apart from that, like I don't eat meat, I don't drink milk or anything like that. I stay away from dairy apart from, of course, free range eggs. So that's pretty much my diet. And I avoid 99% of processed foods um, the majority of the time. Every so often, yes, but the majority of the time, day to day, I avoid processed foods just because if you look at it for what it is, it's fake food. It's it's legit fake food. Like you get a Mars bar out of the drawer and you start eating that. Do you really think that's real food? No, like it's fake food. If it's made in a factory, it's fake. So I just don't eat that. I feel like it definitely drains my energy. My mental clarity isn't the same. So I just stick to, to what I know and I stick to, you know, those, those foods that come from the earth and the, the high quality food. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna walk you through today, um, get to a few things right now, and then I'm gonna have my first meal soon. Pretty much the first thing I'll do once I wake up is just have a big old bottle of distilled water. Now I got this distiller from Mega Home, as you can see there. No problems at all so far. Um, fingers crossed, I've had it since the beginning of 2019. It's just been really good. So let me tell you why. So let me show you this, right? So that's literally two days worth of water, tap water, right? So tap water has got so many different artificial chemicals in it, like fluoride, chlorine. I do not want that stuff in my body. So I try and stay away from that stuff. I want to get, you know, pure water. The good side to this is that it rips out all the bad chemicals within the body. The downside is that it also rips out all the good chemicals within the body. However, if you're supplementing with different things within your diet and you get everything within your food and your other drinks, then you're absolutely fine in my opinion. But that's just my take on it. This is what I do and I feel good on it. So I'm going to carry doing it, but everyone's going to have their own take on it. But this is what I do. Um, but yeah, I'm going to show you what I take next in a little bit as well. First supplement of the day that I've been testing out over the last couple of weeks is what's called Regenesis. So it's by Symbiotica, really, really good. And it's basically uh, glutathione, PQQ, Q10, and lactofurin, plus probiotics as well. And you can see like the epigenetics part here with tons of different benefits. And it comes in syringes like this. So basically, it comes in syringes, you have like two mil per serving per day. And it just gives me a really good boost in the morning, especially before I jump on the charts. Then you combine that with things like, you know, vitamin C plus shilogy and all these kind of other things. Um, on a fastest day, like it's, it's powerful. I definitely feel the difference in focus and just energy. So I'm gonna keep taking that and uh, yeah. What I'm gonna take right now is the vitamin C. So this is the one that I took before. And then we got CBD over here as well. So basically this is a thousand milligrams and then this is fermented vitamin C with bamboo silica. And this promotes antioxidant health, immune system function, anti-aging, collagen production. And what I like about this is very natural. If you just read this, 
like I'm not gonna, if you could wanna pause the video and read that, but it's very, very good without GMOs, any artificial supplements or anything like that. Everything is natural and made in the best form possible. And these are the ingredients as well. So I like it, I love the taste as well. And I just love how it makes me feel. It gives me a lot more energy throughout the day. Plus with this, like it's a really good boost to the day. So I'm gonna have this right now and then we'll get back upstairs and then we'll get on with the day. So what I like to sip on whilst I'm doing chart work and things like that, starting out the day is black coffee and then shilajee. So as you can see, if I just take this out, shilajee basically looks like this, as you can see. It's like a resin type of thing, you can see that dripping. Basically because it's from mountains um, in foreign countries, that is, you know, thousands of years old and it's got loads of vitamins, minerals in it. And if I was just to take one supplement out of all the different supplements that I would take, I would just take this one. Yeah, I usually get the symbiotic one, which is arguably a little bit better than this, um, but this is still good, this is organic, this is GMO free, so I'm happy with this one. Um, and I should get my other order in a couple of days. So yeah, usually have that when I sip on coffee and as you can see, yeah, doesn't look that nice, but it actually actually tastes decent and the benefits are just worth it for me. So I have like a lot of mental clarity, a lot of focus with that, so it's just worth it. Half 11 now in the UK, so this is starting to fill up. So the distiller is starting to fill up. So have some solid water in a bit. Um, and in terms of meals wise, I'm gonna have my first meal now. So <clears throat> usually I have my first meal between like half 11 and then one, I've got a call at 12, so I'm gonna have it before the call. Just kind of makes sense. But yeah, this is what we got. So what are we cooking today? So usually for first meal, I used to have cereal. Um, I don't have cereal anymore. It's just a lot of it's artificial and processed. So. I'll have it every so often to kind of change things up and mix things up, but yeah, just to have less energy when I have that and more energy with this stuff. So as you can see, all natural ingredients, as you can see, so we've got some olive oil, I'm gonna stick that in there. I'm gonna have three eggs, uh, avocado, onion, asparagus, tomatoes, and then I'm gonna have a broccoli as well, and then some spinach and some herbs as well. So that should be good. I'm gonna about to cook that up now, and I'm gonna show you how I cook it, and then uh, we'll about to eat it. So just cooking this for now, just letting that simmer, and then I like to put these in. So I have a couple different things. So I have these herbs. So Italian based style herbs. Basically, as you can see there, oregano, basil, uh, red bell pepper, thyme, rosemary, sage, pretty nice. Um, then we'll have some mixed peppercorns, and then last and not least, some sea salt. So I don't drink, I don't have the normal salt, I have sea salt always. So. I usually put that in my distilled water, by the way, just to, for more minerals, but yeah, I'm about to cook that. The eggs are ready, and then, um, yeah. Go back in now, actually. So just finished up with the omelet, so I'm just gonna have this now. So this is called the Omega, it's basically DHA and EPA. So this is like Omega Freeze, etc, etc. So I'm gonna have that, um, which is important because I don't have fish or anything like I said before. Um, as you can see, cupboard is stacked up. So we've got different milks in here. If you wanted to ask by the way, I have this. So it's called Oatly, pretty decent. Apple cider vinegar stacked up on nuts there. And then I tend to eat quite a lot of these as well. These are like organic black beans um, and then butter beans as well. So I have a lot of them, but I'm gonna take that now. And then later on tonight, I have uh, activated charcoal before bed, but I'll talk you through that later on. Um, but yeah, I definitely need to stock up. It's, I think it's coming in like three, four days. So I should have uh, D3, B12, plus another one of these, and then a few more as well. So that should be good. But I'm gonna take this and then join you back upstairs in a bit. Today from a market perspective, not really looking at anything right now. And the market's been quite slow today. So obviously it's Monday. Mondays can be quite corrective. 
as I've explained in previous videos. So nothing I'm watching me today, I'm just watching the market develop, um, watch everyone get steamrolled, and then get into the markets on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, if the market develops. So whilst that's happening, just in the background, I've just been obviously working on stuff, back testing still, and um, just getting on with the day-to-day -day things. Some exciting things happened. So I actually ticked off a 2020 goal very, very recently. Uh, it was actually Friday. So yeah, I'll talk about more in, in a probably a month or two, probably a month. Um, I'm gonna give it time, I'm gonna let, let things settle in and stuff, but yeah, just ticked off a decent decent goal, 2020 goal, really happy, really satisfied, but just getting things set up on the back end, so really exciting process, and it's gonna be good to see how things pan out. So, pretty excited, I said, I said a few weeks back, things were about to change, and they just have, so it's pretty good seeing that come into fruition, um, and of course I'll share that, I've got, I've got some really good ideas that I wanna wanna share on this channel, it's just, I need a few more weeks to kind of develop and settle things in, but once that's happened, I'll definitely share more details and kind of walk you through the process too. So pretty exciting, but food wise, yeah, I pretty much have like three meals daily. Used to be four, but then I realized, why do you need it? Like I was just getting four meals a day just because of the gym and stuff and to make sure I've got enough calories and stuff, but it's not necessarily about that as long as I'm getting the right foods and I have energy throughout the day and I'm getting, you know, at least decent calories and I'm happy with that. Um, I just focus more on the energy now and how much, how do I feel throughout the day instead of, yes, but it's two two o'clock, I'm gonna force a meal down me. Like I just don't, don't resonate with that anymore. Um, but yeah, I usually have three meals a day, depending on the day today, I've had two, but what we're turning me on right now, we're at 10 to eight right now. I don't think I'll have another one. Like I just ate like an hour ago. Can I see myself eating another meal like that? Probably not. So I'm probably gonna snack on some nuts a bit later on. Um, but yeah, food wise, I feel like I've, always been interested to some level, even as a kid. Um, and as I was growing up, I was kind of experimenting with different things, but then it really started to kick in when I started to work nine to five, because I realized, okay, well, I can't eat these different foods and have full focus. This is draining my energy, let me test this, let me try this. Okay, what works, what doesn't? Because I had to get the most of my, out of my hours. If I only had three hours to work at night, I had to be in full performance mode to do that, to get the most out of those hours. So that kind of set me off on a rabbit hole into food and like all these different things that I do right now. But pretty grateful because it led me here and I've got some some really good knowledge in terms of food and you know water and supplements right now that I just apply on a day-to-day -day basis. But yeah, happy with the way things are. Uh, that's food wise. I'll show you if I have a snack later on, which I probably will. And then, um, yeah, one more supplement as well. So I usually I usually start eating about half 11, 12, one-ish around there, and then I'll stop eating around about 8 p.m. So I'm gonna show you that later on. So I'm gonna grab a quick snack. So this is pretty much the drawer of like junk food and then nuts. I'd hardly eat any of these. The only thing I really eat really is these, cashew nuts, seeds, raisins sometimes, and then bits and bats and stuff like that, as you can see. It's like little stuff like that. So I'm gonna grab these. And I'm take that. Some raisins. So I'm gonna eat that, and then pretty much gonna finish off with some charcoal, and then maybe some silver a bit later on as well. Pretty much the final couple of things we're gonna take before bed is number one is gonna be charcoal, and I'm gonna take silver, which I take every couple of days or every few days, I should say. But this one I take every day. So this is basically detoxification and longevity. I just find it works really well before bed. So yeah, I'm gonna take that right now, and then uh, some silver to finish off. Oh, 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 oh,